As the Dallas Safari Club holds its annual convention this week and here in Dallas, it's in the middle of a controversy involving a North Texas hunter. Denison billionaire Lacey Harbor paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for a Safari Club auction for a permit to hunt a black rhino in Namibia. He wants to bring it to the United States. According to the World Wildlife Foundation, there are just over 5,000 black rhino in the wild. Fox Wars Lynn Ann Wynn spoke to animal rights activists and an attorney for the hunter. Lynn Ann. Well, Steve and Clarice, animal rights activists were outside the convention earlier today protesting for a few hours. They argue that the practice of hunting endangered animals is cruel and unnecessary, but conservationists argue that the money from these hunts actually goes back to help grow the species population. It's a waste of animal life. It is cruel. It is an archaic practice that needs to be obsolete. Um, and it's murder. Cheryl Amanda drove from her home in Crowley to protest outside the Dallas Safari Club convention. She and others oppose the killing of animals like the black rhino, the center of a controversy among animal rights groups, conservationists, and hunters. According to a permit filed with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Denison businessman Lacey Harbor, seen here in a photo from his Wildlife Museum's Facebook page, paid $275,000 in an auction with the Dallas Safari Club to hunt a black rhino in Namibia last year. Harbor wants to bring that rhino back home. Bringing back corpses from another country is disgusting on the one hand and totally unnecessary on the other. To save the rhino. It's all part of a conservation strategy. But an attorney for Harbor says the rhino is not critically endangered uh, and the population is growing every year thanks to conservation efforts funded by money paid by hunters like Harbor. They have, have over 3,000 uh, rangers uh, in private lands to protect the rhino and somebody's got to pay for it. John Jackson is also the chairman of the conservation force and is defending his client's right to hunt. The hunts do two things. They get rid of bad rhino. This particular rhino had killed seven others. It's increased the population growth rate. You do that by getting younger bulls in there and, and eliminating bulls that are killing others. And the Dallas Safari Club says money raised from hunting goes towards efforts to conserve and also to fight poaching. We fund projects for needed research uh, to fund and better understand life requisites of certain species so that they can be more sustainably managed and conserved. Conservationists also argue they need to intervene in order to protect the species, but animal rights activists disagree. If they're truly interested in conservation, they won't be murdering animals. They can fund conservation efforts in ways that are life affirming, that help animals to survive. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service will continue taking public comment on this issue until February 5th. At last check, there were nearly 300 comments on this issue, many of them against allowing the hunter to take the black rhino back into the United States. Meanwhile, an attorney for Mr. Harper says that they expect a decision within the next 45 to 50 days.